<laughs> Go Buster! Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster! Great work! Whoa! It's a soccer bus! He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball, and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy! They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores! Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go. Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops. I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh look, it's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball! <laughs> he does need the practice. It's sports day at Buster's school. How exciting! First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Go, Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy! Buster is the fastest in school! Next up, it's the high jump! Scout's up first! Scoot, scoot! Wow! That was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump! Off he goes! Oops! Don't worry, Buster! He doesn't look very happy. Uh. It's the egg and spoon race next. Oh. 
Get ready, and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh, dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun! Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first! Well done, everyone! What a brilliant day! Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea! They should bake the cake together! Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Boop! Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry! Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira! Uh-oh! Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag! Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first! Off he goes, Mira! Whoops! Mira, you spooked the teacher! <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry! Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf! Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. Hooray! It's time for the big race. Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too! Ready, steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast! Look out! Scout is speeding ahead! Scout's taking the lead! Uh-oh, a low bridge. Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge. 
It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no, that's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater. But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this nightlight will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space. Check it out, there's Earth. They're going to race to it. Ready? Steady, go! Buster is in the lead. Oh no! Bandit knocked him off course! Aw, oh, now Buster's far behind. How can he zoom back ahead? Aha! Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout. Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? <gasps> Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout! Hmm, they have to stop him! They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit. That'll teach him. And the race is back on. Buster and Scout are neck and neck. Nearly there. Space Rocket Buster wins the race. Way to go. Uh-oh. Busted. Again. Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun, but now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck, but Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close. Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh, skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun. They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea. Bandit is going first. Swish. He skidded all the way over there. But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom. Whoa, Scout went even further than Bandit. Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh. Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! 
Huh? Oops! Mm. Buster splashed oh. Mommy with mud! Mm. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. It's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team. Though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way. But Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear. They can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team! Whoosh! Off they go! And that's more like it! Now it's a real fun snowball fight! It's much better with teamwork! Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is! <sighs> Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in. While Buster and Ash play tag. Oops! Watch out, Buster! <gasps> hmm. Maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. Wow! Look at all that snow! What should they play? Oh, Buster knows a good game. How about cops and robbers? Ash can be the cop, and Buster can be the robber. Grandpa Bus is struggling to turn that hose on. Can Ash catch Buster? Oops, nearly. Oh, watch out, Grandpa. The hose is spraying water all over the shed. It's a bit hard to control. Oh look, Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him, well done. <gasps> oh no, the water on the shed is freezing into icicles. They're trapped. Buster and Ash are honking their horns for help, but no one can hear them. What else can they try? Oh, Buster has a new idea. Buster is trying to push Ash through the window. But he doesn't quite fit. Oh, there's Grandpa Bus. Quick, try to get his attention. He's seen them. But oh dear, Grandpa Bus thinks they're just playing a game. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod. Buster has an idea. Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich. But, oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! Huh? It worked! Oh. Mommy Bus has spotted them. Hmm. Mommy Bus to the rescue. What's she got there? 
Ah, Mommy Bus is using a hairdryer to melt the icicles. What a good idea! <laughs> but they're melting very slowly. <laughs> hmm, this could take a while. She's determined it will work. <sighs> Nearly there. <laughs> Buster and Ash are free at last. Thanks, Mommy. And everything is back to normal. Oh, whoa! It's time for the Christmas talent show. Bandit is going first. He's doing some magic tricks. Good job, Bandit. Aw, Buster looks nervous. I think he's got a bit of stage fright. Poor Buster. There's Scout. It's her turn next. She looks so excited. Oh, cool. She's going to do some juggling. Very good, Scout. Oh, dear. Buster still looks nervous. He's afraid to go on stage in front of all those people. Hooray! Scout's finished her show. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, but Buster doesn't want to go on stage. Mommy's getting worried about Buster. The stage is empty. I think Mommy has an idea. What's this? Mommy's on stage. She's encouraging Buster to come join her. They'll do it together. Here Buster comes. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring, with Buster we sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas! Aw, well done, Buster and Mommy. That was beautiful. Buster and Grandpa are visiting the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Look at all the amazing stalls. Wow, Buster really wants to win that teddy bear. He's asking Grandpa if they can play. They get three throws to knock down the cans. Buster missed. Oh dear, that's all three of his throws. He's having another go. Oh no, he missed again. Buster's upset, but I think Grandpa can teach Buster a thing or two about throwing. The key to hitting what you aim at is to take your time. First, you take a big, long breath. Then take aim, crouch low, and throw. Whoa! Grandpa hit the cans! Now it's Buster's turn. A big, long breath. Take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! Nice shot, Buster! Now, time to go win that teddy bear. Oh dear, Buster didn't take his time. He needs to take a big, long breath, take aim, crouch low, and throw. Hooray! Buster did it. Well done, Buster. And here's his prize. Buster so proud of himself. Look, there's Buster, Mommy, and Grandpa. I wonder where they're going on such a snowy day. Oh wow, they're going to get a Christmas tree. So many trees. Which one to pick? 
Hmm, what's this? <gasps> Buster wants the biggest tree there is. That really is tall. <sighs> now it's time to take it home. Mommy is pulling the tree in her trailer. Phew, that looks heavy. Wait, oh no! The tree is too big to fit through the front door. But wait, Grandpa has an idea. Now they're trying to take it up the ramp. Nope, that doesn't work either. But now Mommy has a bright idea. Hmm, it doesn't fit down the chimney either. But Grandpa has another idea. Three, two, one, charge! Oh dear, it still doesn't fit. It's just too big. Look, it's Scout. She's off to get a Christmas tree of her own. I think Buster has an idea. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Grandpa's using his saw. Whoa, they cut the big tree in two. Scout can have half, and the other half will fit through the front door. Hooray! <laughs> there, that Christmas tree is just the right size for the house. It's Christmas Eve. Buster is so excited he can barely stay still. He can't wait for Christmas Day. Daddy has a Christmas cracker for Buster. Who's going to win? Pull, Buster! Whoa! Well done, Daddy! But now it's time for bed, or else Santa won't come. Look, Buster's dreaming about the presents. He hopes his present will be the biggest present ever. It's Christmas Day, and Buster and Daddy are going to Mommy's house. Buster can't wait! Buster's so excited to see the presents, he's rushing! Buster is wondering where is his present. This one is for Mommy. Daddy's present. One for Grandpa. Is the small one for him? Buster is a bit disappointed. <gasps> Oops! <gasps> the labels have come off! Oh no! Buster doesn't know whose present is whose. Buster hopes the labels are on the right presents. It's time to open the presents. <laughs> Mommy, Grandpa, and Daddy roll up to find Buster sneaking a look at the presents. Grandpa has some weights. That doesn't seem right. Mommy has some glasses, but Mommy can't see with them. And Daddy has a stethoscope. That doesn't seem right either. Oh no, the presents got mixed up. Nobody has the right presents. Hmm, maybe Buster can work out which present belongs to who. The weights must be for Daddy. He's really strong. And the stethoscope is for Mommy, because she's a vet. And the glasses are for Grandpa. Good job, Buster. It's just Buster's small present left. What is inside? Oh, a camera! Buster loves it! He's going to take a selfie with his family. Merry Christmas, Buster! There's Buster and Scout driving home. Wait, what was that? <laughs> oh, wow! It's a little baby reindeer! She must be lost! Oh? 
Buster is trying to cheer her up. Aw, I think she wants to play. <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl. Now Buster's throwing a snowball. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Scout. <laughs> it's fun to play with new friends. Now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! Now Scout. Oops, sorry, Buster. But where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! She was playing hide and seek. Where's Scout going? Hmm, a big pile of snow. Oh, look, it's Scout. Whoa, more reindeer footprints, bigger ones. I wonder where they lead. I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look, it's mommy and daddy reindeer. They're so happy they found baby. Baby reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, baby reindeer. See you again soon. Everyone is having fun at the Christmas market. There's Buster. He's having a candy apple. So yummy. Whoa, Mommy Bus has a present. Is that for Buster? It is, but Mommy says to wait until Christmas to open the present. <laughs> Buster doesn't want to wait. He wants to open the present now. <laughs> but he'll have to wait. Throw the ball to knock down the cans. That's Mommy's favorite game. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. Buster's going to try to look at the present while Mommy is distracted. Buster shouldn't really be doing that. Hmm, what is inside? Here is Bandit. Oh, look out! Oh no, the present is flying off across the market. Quick, they have to get the present back before Mommy notices it's gone. The present is on the ice rink. Quick, Bandit, grab it! Oopsie! Buster will have to try and get it now. So close! Ah, so close! Mommy Bus still hasn't noticed the missing present. She's having so much fun! Oh, there's the present! Can Bandit and Buster get it back before Mommy notices? Ah, whoops! Where's the present gone now? Oh, look! The Wonder Wheel! It's Ash! And there's the present! Oh, no! He dropped it! Go, Buster! Great catch! Phew! Well done, Buster! Look! Mommy put all the cans down! Hooray! She won a teddy bear! They've got the present back just in time. <laughs> Mommy is in such a good mood, she's going to let Buster look at the present, if he still wants to. Mm. Oh. Mm. But Buster has learned his lesson. He's going to wait. <laughs> it's finally Christmas Day, and Buster can open the present at last. <laughs> Whoa, it's a new soccer ball. <laughs> That's why it was so bouncy. Oh. Merry Christmas, Buster. It's almost Christmas, but looks like it hasn't snowed yet. Aw. Hmm, what is Buster doing? 
<laughs> Buster has made a Christmas picture frame for his best friend, Scout. It looks amazing. Well done, Buster. <laughs> he wants to give Scout the present right now, but he's got to get ready first. It's starting to snow. Ta-da! It's Santa Buster! He's dressed up as Santa. Time to take the present to Scout. She's going to be so happy. Oh no, there's so much snow. How are they going to reach the Christmas market? <sighs> Careful, Buster, ice can be very slippery. Uh-oh, Buster is sliding all over the place. Look out. Oopsie, Daddy to the rescue. It's all right, Buster. I think Daddy has an idea. I wonder what Daddy is doing. Wow, a sled! They can cross the snow on that. Yuppie, this is going to be fun! Oh, Buster, wait! Buster's going so fast, Daddy can barely keep up. Oh, slow down, Buster! It's lucky he landed in that big pile of snow. Oh, Daddy is in trouble too! Look out! Aw, maybe next time Buster should wait for Daddy to help. Oh no! The sled is broken! How are they going to get to the market now? Hmm, but maybe Buster has an idea. Aha! Buster stuck two bits of the broken sled together. What's he built? Oh, it's a snowplow! Go, Buster! They've done it! They've reached the road safely. Now to get the present to Scout. There's Scout at the Christmas market. And here's Buster. Time to give her the present at last. Aww. Scout loved her present. She's feeling so grateful. Well done, Buster. And Merry Christmas. It's a bright new morning. And Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. <laughs> oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait, I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. Oh. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. And the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. But what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. Diggly's opening his present and... Whoa, it's a pinata. It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes. One more. Smack. Look at all those sweets. An amazing birthday present. Buster and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats. 
How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait, not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off. This is much more fun. Oh no, the boat wasn't tied to the dock. The river is carrying Buster away. Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer. Daddy Bus to the rescue. Uh-oh, that boat has a leak. He needs to find another way. Buster is floating even further down the river. Careful, Daddy Bus. What's Buster going to do? Oh, there's a bridge. Buster's grabbing on. Phew. Oh no, the pole broke off. Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out! Uh oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working! Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped! And look, a waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it! Go, Buster! Nice throw! Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's much more relaxing. Buster, Bandit, and Mira are outside playing with their soccer ball. Daddy Bus is fishing. <sighs> he hasn't caught any fish yet. Buster has some great skills. Whoa, and so does Mira. That's a big kick, Bandit. Watch out, Mira. Oh no, the ball knocked Mira's hat off. Where did it go? It's not over here. It's definitely not over there. Mira is upset that her favorite hat is missing. Don't worry, Mira. We'll help you find it. Buster has an idea. We can look for the hat using our imagination. Now we can turn the search into a fun game. Off they go. It's time to look for that hat. Whoa, those are very big footprints. They decide to follow them and see where they go. Stop! What's that up ahead? It's a dinosaur! And he's wearing Mira's hat! Uh-oh! Run! They're going as fast as they can, but the dinosaur isn't far behind. And Buster spots a big volcano up ahead. They've got to get over that puddle. Buster and Mira make it, but oh no! Bandit gets stuck! Buster is trying to help Bandit get out. <gasps> Uh-oh! The dinosaur caught up with them! He looks very scary! But what's the dinosaur doing? He's seen his reflection! And I think he likes the hat. But that's Mira's hat, and she wants it back. Looks like she has an idea. <laughs> wow, nice shot, Mira. The ball knocked the hat right off. Oh no, 
but looks like the hat is flying straight towards the volcano. How are they going to get it back now? Buster can do it using his imagination. It's Super Buster! Off he flies to save the hat. It's getting closer and closer to the volcano. He needs to be quick. Go, Buster! He got it! Thanks, Buster. You're a great friend. They played a fun game, and Mira got her favorite hat back. Everything is more fun when you use your imagination. It's Buster's birthday. Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout. And freeze. Oh no, Scout is losing balance. And so is Buster. They are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance. Bandit is losing balance. Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing Pass the Parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Oh. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped. <laughs> Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake. Blow out the candles. Go, Buster. What a feast. All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster! It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can, and the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign. So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way. Oh no. Huh? There's no more path. This can't be right. And what's that? A huge tire print. Ash thinks it must be a monster. <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost. 
But they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh dear, they're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a m monster. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a monster truck. And they're very friendly. She's pulling Ash out of the mud. Wow, she's strong. And now it's Buster's turn. This monster truck is called Mira. She's lost too, just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look, Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race. But she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy. Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. <laughs> Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. It's a sunny day, and Daddy Bus is taking Buster on a trip to the beach. Buster says goodbye to Mommy Bus, and off they go. Hooray! But oh dear, Otis is blocking their path. The road is closed. Buster is very upset. But looks like Daddy has an idea. It's a lovely lake. And they can go fishing instead. Buster is disappointed though, as he wanted to go to the beach. Daddy teaches him how to fish. Wow, now it's Buster's turn. Buster is bored. This isn't as fun as the beach. Why is Daddy so excited? Hang on, something is tugging on Daddy's line. What could it be? Whoa, Daddy has caught a huge fish. It's so big, Daddy isn't strong enough. Buster joins in and helps. Watch out, Buster. Oops, they've been pulled into the water. And the fish is finding this very funny. Buster and Daddy Bus won't give up that easily. Looks like they've got a new plan. The fish is swimming in the lake. Daddy casts his fishing line. And the fish pulls once again. It's another tug of war. Look, there's Buster floating in the lake. Aha, gotcha. Buster caught the fish with his net. <laughs> Go, Buster. Daddy is very proud. Well done, Buster. The fish swims away. See you next time, fishy. Fishing was lots of fun after all. And Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look. It's a baby deer. What's it running from? Huh? It's Traxon in the train. Oh no, what's wrong? Traxon can't stop. Quick, Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue. Oh no, he's speeding up. Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. There's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no, Terry is crossing the tracks. 
Change them, quick! <gasps> that was close. Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy. <gasps> oh no, watch out! Phew! Daddy was just in time. Looks like Buster has a plan. <laughs> They need to direct Traxon towards the hill. The hill is slowing him down. He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. Buster is heading off to school. Wait a second, Buster. Don't forget, it's school photo day today. So you need an extra polish. Bye, Mommy Bus. Look! Terry Tractor is here to take the school photos. Bandit and Ash are up first. Smile! Buster's turn next. And he wants to get an action shot. Whoops! Buster slipped! Watch out, Scout! Oh no, what's wrong? The teacher is handing Buster a mirror. Buster has knocked out his wobbly front tooth! Oh no! And now Buster is too embarrassed to have his photo taken. It's okay, Buster. You can have it taken another day. Buster is feeling really sad about missing out on the photos. But Mommy Bus is here to pick him up. And she's taking him to the dentist to get his tooth looked at. Hooray! Buster is a little bit nervous. Don't worry, Buster. Amber the ambulance is here to take a look at that tooth for you. It's time to sit in the special dentist chair. Wow, that looks like so much fun! And now it's time to check that tooth. Don't worry, Buster. There's nothing to be scared of. First, Amber is looking at the tooth with a little mirror. Open wide, Buster. Say, ah! Uh. And what's that? Amber's going to play Buster a video. It's another bus, just like Buster. And his tooth has fallen out. But don't worry, another one will grow in its place. He might be missing a tooth for now, but soon he'll have a brand new one. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Buster now feels much better. Thanks, Amber. And now he's going back to school to get his photo taken. Gather in, Buster. Say cheese. Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited! <laughs> Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And while she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away! It looks like a cape! It's Super Buster! Bandit wants a cape too! And it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. It's bad guy Bandit. Mwahaha! He's stolen the picnic. Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it. They are chasing through the sky. Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him. Oh no! Back 
bad guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes. But Super Buster is too fast. Wow, look at him go! Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic. But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball. Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat. Bring it on, bad guy bandit. Great shot, Super Buster. Whack! <laughs> wow, that was such a fun game. But oh no, they've made a huge mess. And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way. What are they going to do? Quick, they've got to clear it up. As superheroes, of course. Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city. Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. Just in time. Great teamwork, guys. Yum, yum. Delicious. And all that superhero work has left them very it's hungry. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look, teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> Oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray! It worked! Oh dear, what a mess! Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it! Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again! Buster looks so excited, I wonder why? A storybook! Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. 
Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck. Hooray! <laughs> She's here to show them what a fire truck does. <laughs> when a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. <laughs> what happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire. <laughs> Yippee! It's time to practice. <laughs> They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout. Oops. That's better. Well done! Now it's Buster's turn. Wow! Watch out, Buster! <laughs> that was a great day, but now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you. Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? Oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no, quick! Phew, the fire is out. Yippee! What great teamwork! It's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look, Mommy Fire Truck. She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary! Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? It's Buster's scary shadow. 
course, Scout. <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That serves Buster right. Great job, gang! What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Yay! Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. They are keeping the tent in place. Hmm. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Bandit has some marshmallows. <gasps> Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! Uh-oh, it's blowing away! Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> He's okay. Time to finally put the tent up. Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster. Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. Wow! They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> What a brilliant day! Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout! What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now, they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble! Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy to the rescue! Nope, that didn't work. What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster! Diggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. And that's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. 
so they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. Well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. Now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to do. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look, it's Grandpa Bus. Oops, now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! There's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny! That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster. The bubbles are overflowing. Oh dear, what a soapy mess. Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> But then, I came face to face with a dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second, that's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear, Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, uh -oh. could he? Oh. <gasps> All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> uh. This summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes! Uh. 
Ooh. Pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks. <laughs> Yar, my hearties. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Ah. The pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth hmm. out with a little help from <laughs> a friendly little bee. <laughs> We took out the sawtooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano! Wow! They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. <laughs> What a oh. mess! It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no! Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board! What a good idea! The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. <laughs> Then three drops of food coloring. <laughs> then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. <laughs> Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone. It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them! Whoops! Careful, Buster! All the tins might fall over! Phew! Great save, Grandpa! <laughs> Next! Yay! The soccer ball! Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait! Grandpa's been left behind! He can't find him! Oh no! Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look, it's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last, Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? Huh? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Oh. 
Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? <gasps> Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. <gasps> Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy. What a kind thing Buster did. It's a did. cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow, a drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. There, now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. Oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear, they frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud oh. noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. <laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. Oh. <sighs> 
Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh! Grandpa has a remote-controlled car! Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom! Look at it go! Now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh. Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh, dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh, no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> Aw, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. It's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy. Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer, but Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. 
Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look. They still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes a mouth, and a nose. Oh. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. <laughs> oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. <laughs> but now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick! Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops! There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> Look. There's Scout. And there's Buster. I think they're playing tag. What's Buster seen? Oh, wow. A maze. Scout is going inside. Go on, Buster. Try and find her. I wonder which way Scout went. There she is. Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh look, a yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and which way this time? This way. Wait a minute, it's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out. There's Scout. She looks lost too. Whoa, Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now, they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is! Good job, Scout! They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, 
They're still lost in the maze. Look, tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. Look, it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws, just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab, too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it, hop over the rope. Phew, that was tiring. What a great day! And now it's time to go home. But uh-oh, that's an awful lot of mess they've left behind. Buster doesn't want to clean up. But look, Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. Bouncing the soccer ball between them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them. This is almost like a game. <laughs> Next, the cone. Look, Scout's catching them on her bonnet. Now Buster is collapsing the goal. Nice work. Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done! <laughs> that wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no, it's fallen over and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work. What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right. They can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There! Well done, everyone. Look! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout flipped too. Phew. Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. 
They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. Huh? They can swap oh. jobs. <laughs> Scout can collect up all the letters. <laughs> then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. <laughs> Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? Everything looks normal. Uh, apart from that letter. And the time isn't right. And the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. 